hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are again going to talk about obviously flutter because i'm actually loving flutter and uh, there's a reason why i'm loving it because uh, the ui making is amazing uh, the performance is very good as compared to the native code it is uh, uh, i guess uh, it, it will match the 90 percent part and um, uh, the overall uh, the experience is really nice and today uh, we are also going to cover uh, some ui part and because uh, Flutter is a mobile UI framework, so we'll see how what we can make with this UI. So we are going to actually make a clone of WhatsApp. It is not uh, uh, a full, fully featured WhatsApp, but it will be uh, the UI clone of WhatsApp. That is what we are going to make. And uh, we are not going to use Dart 2 because actually this I, I am shooting this video for the second time because the first time uh, when I, I was shooting this video, I used Dart 2 and i really fucked up with the everything because um, there was some serious issues again because flutter is now available for beta 2 so that is why i uh, i thought to, of using dart 2 but i got some unhandled exceptions for no reason and it was asking me for using the new keyword or const keyword which is actually uh, not uh, which is actually not needed in dart 2 so there were a lot of issues so we are again switching back to dart 1 and when it will be stable then only we will use dart 2 so let's start with the project we are going to make a whatsapp ui it is uh, you can say it a clone but maybe in the future we can add more functionality to it but as of now this will be just a ui video so uh, let's create a new project uh, so i can say flutter whatsapp okay and uh, let's create this so uh, it will take some few seconds so the uh, all the code will be available on github you can check there and you can start the repo and if you're not the subscriber of my channel then you should subscribe because if you're interesting in flutter i am also interested and i'll bring more videos to you and you can see a lot of videos available on my channel and uh, definitely a lot more will be coming so let's wait for a few seconds and i guess it's ready not yet yeah it is ready kind of ready it is running still but yeah that is done so let me just do the basic things i have scratched all the code and i'm not going to explain every little basic things because for that you should i guess uh, refer to my other videos which were the initial videos so that uh, you can get a better idea why i'm writing this uh, that's this just a, a way of writing this like right now you can say that and i'm making a material app because that is how we start and run app is the method where we um, where from where the execution starts after calling the main method okay so here we are now we need to provide a title so we can say here uh, title would be of course it should be whatsapp and why it is not uh, there is some issue i guess with my os code because it is not taking the double quotes it, uh, by default so we will provide a theme and here we have a primary color so we can say a new color we need to give a color from whatsapp so i have my whatsapp open but i will not show you <laughs> because you know why uh, because i i have to do then editing uh, then to skip or to just uh, unshow some things or to hide something so i'm not going to do that because that will take a lot of time i'm so much lazy for doing that okay so i have this primary color and accent color we will check it don't worry about that and uh, then we will have a home okay outside the theme property so here we have a home now let's uh, call it a new whatsapp home and uh, we need to make this class so here in the lib folder itself we will make another class whatsapp home dot dot and uh, here we will import material dot i am writing a uh, very fast oh my god and it will be a stateful widget and uh, i'm not fast for writing anything so it is actually me writing oh, that's amazing okay so we have this uh, whatsapp home and it will return a scaffold and in this scaffold you know we have a app bar 
and uh, in the app var we should have a um, title right so let's give it a title so it will take a new text here i can say what's what's app right okay now we will have a background color of course we actually don't need this right so let's skip it we'll see if uh, the background color changes in future um then we will have an elevation which can be let's say 0.7 is i guess enough or less animations uh, we are going to test it on android let's say because uh, i don't know uh, how it exactly looks for ios because i'm not using it from some time so let's open our android emulator as well so i can say here emulator at the rate nexus 5x i guess oh i forgot what was the name of the emulator so i'm just showing you emulator list avds okay this is the name of my emulators and i'm going to say this it will start the emulator for me okay here is my emulator on the on the top of uh, ios sorry for that i know ios guys are not feeling happy after this but i don't care okay so we have this uh, elevation now we also want it to support the animation so let's uh, use a mix in here which is the single provider mix in i have also covered this in my other video for animation you can see my uh, login ui video where i have created a login uh, ui so here we will have a tab controller because we are going to have some tabs and in whatsapp i guess it has four tabs one for uh, camera or you can say uh, yeah that is camera for status i guess now that is just a camera and another is chats then status and then calls so, yeah so let's call it uh, tab controller and uh, let's uh, initialize uh, by calling overriding our init state and here we can say this tab controller is equal to new tab controller it takes a vsync i guess we need to provide this here it should have an initial index let's say one because by default chats is opened uh, so yeah that is fine and apart from that it also takes length length is four because we will have four tabs as far as i know if you want to add more tabs then it's all, all your choice here now in the app bar there is a another um, parameter which is bottom which we haven't used yet i guess i covered in one video yeah so here we can say a new tab bar because we want to give a tab bar here it will ask for a controller and we will pass the tab controller here then after that i guess uh, there should be some indicator color right and in the uh, in whatsapp it is white as if, as as of now and uh, you want to if, if you want to change it then you can change it now it will take some a list of widgets for the tabs here i can say new tab first of all and i will specify the icon because the first tab is um, a camera icon so you can check your whatsapp i am not going to show you my whatsapp because again it will be some you know hiding and all of that stuff okay so this is our first tab then uh, we have only text tabs okay so i will only show the text so first text is i guess calls yeah am i right yeah i guess so oh we got some issues here because of this i guess yeah okay so we have this now we have another tab and here we have oh why it is not taking oh, it should give me two um this uh i i don't know what's the issue the another tab is status and it is i guess uh everything is in cap caps i guess let me see my whatsapp yeah everything is in caps so we need to make sure that okay another one is uh, status after status this is calls and guys my whatsapp is open in front of me so i would also suggest you guys to open your whatsapp before making it okay we have um, this thing as of now now let's uh, have a body as well and uh, 
for the time being let's say this body is a new container only we will add data after running this app for the first time just to see whether we did the justice with the whatsapp ui or we didn't let's see um it will take few seconds i am still unable to find out why it is not giving me oh here it is giving me this uh yeah it is fine okay i don't know what's the issue oh it's taking a little bit more time because it is running gradle and gradle is uh, right now as of now gradle it has improved a lot for android a normal android development as well and insufficient storage is what i got here i don't know what kind of is insufficient uh let's me uninstall some apps I'm so sorry why this is happening I don't know why this story is not much but I have a lot of apps available here maybe for um, of flutter itself and let me just uh, dis uh, delete this Xamarin app I have also created and guys one more thing I am coming back with uh, some more videos with uh, with the comparison between all the platforms as well like Xamarin, React Native, why you should choose Flutter, why you should not. So I'll be back with that video very soon. So you need to, you know, update it with my channel. So you need to subscribe that and you also need to press bell icon for that. Oh, we got an error because we haven't imported this. So let's import this library first of all. And now let's, uh, yeah, you can see guys, this is our status, this is our cause, this is our and this is looking exactly like whatsapp if you see i have my whatsapp open and trust me but there is a problem the second one is also calls and it should be chats okay yeah so we have fixed it and uh, trust me it is exactly the same okay now uh, let's uh, do some more things here we will have a body so here rather than using the container what we are going to use we are going to use a new tab bar view because we want to you know uh, use the gestures to change the tabs so here we will pass the tab controller which we created earlier so it will take that tab controller and now it will ask me for the children's so we and now if you will swipe it should work will it work uh, it is not working as of now because of index and all this too uh, all these all those issues so we need four things here so before uh, giving it a four things let's uh, make them first okay so here uh, in the lib folder let me just zoom in a little bit yeah here i will create a new folder let's uh, know let's name it pages and in the pages we will have like uh, uh there will be a camera page so we will say camera uh, camera screen maybe camera screen dot dot and then we will have a chat screen so chat screen dot dot then we will have uh, the call screen status screen okay so we can say it status uh, screen dot dot and the last one would be the uh, camera is covered chat is covered status covered call so call screen dot dot okay so we have all this stuff and now we will go back to our main dot home whatsapp home here we can say new because uh, we can say camera screen and we still need to make these glasses we don't have it right now then we will have after camera we have this chat screen so we can say new chat screen then we can say new status screen okay and then we will say new calls screen i know it is not uh, made yet but and after this body we also have a floating button in whatsapp for uh, status and chats and everything so as of now for chats there is a button 
so i am going to add that also so we can say here floating action button here i can say new floating action button and uh, we'll make a background color your yeah, background color would be the theme dot of context dot accent color because that is what we want then we will have a child where we can say new no there's there's an icon of the text the message icon so we can say icon dot message and you can see whatsapp uses all the default things which google provides it with the material design so why we don't uh, follow that because this is a good practice in fact and here on pressed something should happen so let's uh, <coughs> do something let's print uh, let's print something we can say open chats okay so we have this uh, floating action button everything is available but it won't show until we will make this uh, classes and uh, we also need something apart from that i think we don't so let's uh, let's make something with this so we will go to our uh, camera screen first of all here we will import material dot dot and then we can say stateless widget camera screen and here we can say in the center we want to show a text let's say a new text and we can say camera okay that's enough i guess and let's uh, have some uh, style with this we can increase the font size of course so we can say new text style font size would be 20 okay so this is our camera screen we'll copy uh, this code from here to here and now we will go back to our chat screen uh, let's make it a stateless widget first of all and let's say it's chat screen okay and uh, let's uh, import the material dot dart and now let's paste our code and rather the camera we can say chats that's fine now let's go back to our status screen here also we will uh, import material dot dot then uh, this will also be a stateless widget here we can say what the name is uh, status screen so we can say status screen we can copy the code here and we can write status here that's also fine now we will go to call screen oh my god that, i'm annoyed will uh, with writing the same code again and again but uh, this is just for practice so call so calls screen okay now i am going to paste the same thing again i know this is this is not something which you want to do but let's now import all of this okay yeah oh chat screen is not imported why okay we need to import them manually all of them so let's import all of them yeah we are done so now we will restart our code again our app and we should have a basic ui now of whatsapp and i'll also add some action buttons right because there is a search button on the top on the right hand side and I'm also uh, I also want to remove that debug uh, label on the top so, yeah you can see guys oh this is looking so much bad if you see this uh, this message icon here so we need to fix that as well right <laughs> I don't know why this is so much bad let's go back to our floating action button this is the accent color what's the accent color which we have set um let me just see the accent color d25 d366 oh, it's not for black i guess i have checked that okay maybe this is the problem okay let's uh, let's uh, make it a white maybe or oh, no let's make it color dot white as on, we will change it uh, later 
and oh this just made it worse okay the problem was with the uh, icon color uh, this uh, icon color na so we can say here if it has a colors property then colors dot white it should fix it yeah so this is exactly looking like a amazing man so you can see this is the whatsapp ui now let's uh, disable this uh, uh, slow, uh, de debug banner on the top we can write here debug show checked banner is false then it will disable it yeah and now we will add some action button as well on the app bar so if takes it takes the action here we can say new icon and icons dot search maybe will it work yeah we have this icon and now we can have another icon icons dot menu maybe oh this is a weird menu we want that three dot menu right three dot menu what what's the name of that icon i don't even know uh, i don't know options no no i don't know the name of the icon so let's let's put any icon because we need to check what icon is that and let's uh more more should be the name of the icon i guess oh it is also weird uh, let's check other icons i don't know man what's the name of the icon but let's uh uh pop up pop up if there is any pop up there is no pop up as well so we will name it something like dots is there something with that now let's name it menu as of now okay we will fix it don't worry about that we will check the all material icons and let's see the material icons so that we can see if we have any icon with the name of uh, that okay so i have opened this website website here and let's see where is the icon okay um there's no three dot icon i guess in the website itself oh it should be there because whatsapp is using all the default icons and oh it is a so much task i didn't think about uh, finding it earlier oh but uh, i don't know if you guys can see it or not but i'm not able to find it as of now those three dots oh here this is more vertical okay so go let's go back here and we will write more word oh we just we missed it a little bit and now we can we have these actions and this is similar to whatsapp's actions but there is a little bit gap between these so what we can give we can say new padding maybe yeah so here we can say a padding of uh, const as insects dot only horizontal okay bottom okay from we can say here uh, as insects dot symmetric padding okay which will be horizontal and let's uh, give it a padding of five i guess yeah it is sufficient so we are ready with this uh, ui and uh, this looks amazing now let's uh, add we cannot add everything here so what we can do we will make the chat screen because that is something which is kind of uh, you can say uh, much needed as of now so before that we will make a model here the chat model because uh, in outside this uh, pages uh, in the lib folder we will make another folder we can say it models and uh, here we can not models oh uh, yeah models and here we can have a chat model so we can say chat model dot dart okay and here in the chat model we will make a model okay for the 
you can say uh, a class chat model okay now here what whatsapp has so it will have a name name of the person then it will have a message in the chat okay we will have a message then it also has a time of the message that is also correct then it also has some image so we can say uh, avatar url for images rather than capital u uh, this is fine yeah and now we will have a chat model and uh, here we can say call the constructor so all of this uh, should be the named parameter so we can use this curly braces so we can say this dot name comma this dot message comma this dot uh, time comma this dot avatar url and that is enough now let's uh, create some dummy data as well okay so we can say list of this chat model and uh, let's say um dummy data okay and here we can have a list with some models so we can say um new chat model okay and here we can say name let's uh, put my name first of all pavan kumar maybe and then we can have its uh, message for this so messages hey flora you are so amazing and uh, time would be like uh, you can say um maybe 15 30 anything you want to show because it's a string as of now and now we will add uh, an image here so let me just uh, copy an image from somewhere and we will post it here i am posting the url of the image and we can also see the image by going through it and so basically we don't have anything here so let's just uh, delete it and uh, let's go to a website where we can find any image of a person so um let's uh, go to pixels maybe here we have the pixels and here we can search for an image or maybe we can search for a random image uh, let's search it here itself person person oh this looks good uh, let's pick any one of these and oh, obviously this 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 guy looks good it, it, this is not me let me just uh, be very clear about it okay otherwise you would be thinking that this is me okay why how how i can uh, just uh, see the url of this image i guess this is not possible maybe it is possible maybe it is not because it is asking me for download it uh, let's do something with this oh there should be some options with this i guess uh, there is no other options okay let's click on any other photo and uh, let's see if we can no no so we are not able to download any images so we can go to image maybe and here we can find some images so let's uh, search a person maybe okay we can use any image okay there's not an issue with that or oh, rather than let's use some person i know this is not good but let's use this guy this is amazing because it he has that personality you know okay okay and open image in new tab yeah so finally got a url and we will paste it here i know it takes so much time of yours but i'm so sorry i'm not good at finding images 
okay so we have uh, this image now and similarly we will create a more i guess people with this url uh, so we can copy this chat model entirely and uh, this is our chat model we can just paste it then we can have another one then we can have another one and how many we want let's uh, add uh, five or six another one another one okay so we have some five or six here so rather than pavan kumar i will write uh, let's say harvey uh, specter and i can say hey i have hacked whatsapp i i know this is weird but sorry for that and let's change the time with 17 now we can use my cross and he's saying what's up at five okay and we have racial she's saying i'm good and this is again something very random you don't have to write everything like this you can say this as barry barry kumar not barry helen barry kumar looks sounds very weird and we can uh, say uh, i am the fastest man alive it is not looking like a message it is looking like a statement <laughs> i i know i am not very good at this but let's say and or rather than pavan kumar we can say joe west maybe okay and hey flutter you are so cool and let's leave the time as well okay so this is everything you need to do with this and now we will go to our um, the uh, chat screen so here we have the pages here we have the uh, chat screen so what i am going to do we are going to make it first of all convert it to a, a stateful widget so that yeah so we have this as a stateful widget rather than a uh, you can say what uh, it is not anymore the uh, stateless widget now we will import our model here so that we don't have to import it later so we can say chat model okay where it is in models yeah. okay so we have this chat model okay we have this now and in the chat screen state in here we will we, we will uh, remove this code and rather we will use the list view dot builder because we want a list view now so i can use this okay this is fine and uh, now we will have a uh, item count first of all so here we can say item count and i can call here the dummy data dot length and it is not able to read this dummy data i don't know why because maybe chat model is it is not able to let's go back to our chat model here we have this dummy data correct why it is not uh, taking this dummy data let's let's uh, first of all uh, close everything and let's go back to chat screen now uh, it should read the dummy data for us so um, we need to think why it is not working uh, this should work okay let's remove it then we can import it no no luck with that and let's try to make import with dot dot models slash chat model dot dot will it work now now it is not working why it is not giving me the dummy data's length uh, we need to check that and uh, let's uh, see here what's the problem i know i'm wasting a time a little bit but uh, let me just see what can be the issue um 
I guess we have this chat now. Oh, this is the issue. I got it, man. This should be outside of this. So we need to close this first of all. Okay, this is this. Yeah, now it is reading this. So sorry, guys. I just forgot to make that outside that class. So we have this item count now. Now we will use the item builder. Hey, oh, we will. We can say we will pass a context and let's uh, name it a context itself. Um. And we can have an index as well and here we can say uh, what we want to return okay so we can say we want to return a new column oh, we need a column right yeah we need a column here we will have a children of widgets so first of all we will have a divider okay we will give it a height of let's say 10.0 and then um, below this we can have a new list tile yeah okay and here we will on the leading we will have a circle avatar because in whatsapp there is a circular images of the people on the left hand side if you will see now we can give it a foreground color and we will give it a primary color so we can write here dot primary color that is fine and now we can have a background color as well and we can give it a gray color and now we have this background image and we will use the new network image okay because it will fetch the uh, net image from the network we can say dummy data and we will pass the index and we will call the avatar url okay so this is our list tile now after this leading title uh, we will specify the title at, as well wait a second okay so in the title we need to pass uh, the name of that person so we can say here new row okay and in the row we will have a main axis alignment space uh, between i guess space between would be fine okay now we will have some children because we are using a row and we need to uh, show the time and username if you will see on the whatsapp it has the time also on the right hand side so what we will do we will use a new text okay and here we can say date uh, dummy data i dot uh, name okay this is the name that is uh, fine i guess and then we will have a style as well so we can say new text style and here we can give it a font to weight which will be font weight dot bold okay so we have this and let me just disable it okay so we have this row with this text and then we want another text on the right hand side so we can say here new text and uh, this time we can just uh, copy the particular text uh, from here and rather than name we will use time and in the text style we will use the color as colors dot gray okay now uh, we also have a different font size the font size is little bit small so if it is 20 then it should be the 14 okay and you can also compare uh, this application with your whatsapp so that you should not have any kind of doubt that uh, i am doing something wrong with you guys okay <laughs> so that is something so after this we will uh, after this row we can have a subtitle field and here we can show him the message so we can say new container okay in the container we will have a padding let's uh, give it a padding from the top because only we can use only because we just want to give it a top padding and let's give it a five padding of five and then we can have uh, as a child we can have a text we can copy the text uh, parameter from here and here we can write message 
and in this style uh, we can say colors dot gray font size should be oh we should copy this one and let's give it a font size of 15 rather than 14 okay guys so we are done with the ui part of this as well so let's now restart the app and we will go to this whatsapp home okay and uh, you can compare this application with the normal whatsapp and i don't know how it could how good it will work but uh, it should work let me just make it a little bit bigger and guys i have taken so much time of you but uh, it is what it is so here we have this uh, whatsapp uh, clone you can see we have the same images but uh, it looks uh, <laughs> I cannot say this by myself but it looks exactly similar to whatsapp uh, it has some little bit of changes but almost it is a whatsapp clone you cannot uh, identify whether it is not it is whatsapp or not and here if I will click on this then you can see we have this open chats in the console so that is it guys we can improve it and we can uh, make it much better clone of whatsapp we can introduce so many features in this there's no need to think about that and let me just take a screenshot of this because i now will run it in the ios and we'll see and we will also try to convert it for ios version because right now it is not supporting ios um, not, um, by supporting i mean that the ui is not exactly similar to human interface because we are using material design but in case of whatsapp it uses human inter interface for ios and material design for android so it actually uh, uses the default uh, uh, ui guidelines for the operating system so we will also try to you know uh, make, uh, make necessary changes for ios in the future and uh, if you will enjoy this video then you need to comment that you want that then only i will uh, make some changes and uh, this is the whatsapp ui in ios similar to android and ios users if you are ios uh, if you are an ios user you can see if this is looking better than the existing ui then you can suggest whatsapp to use this as is just a this is not exactly the clone of whatsapp but this is the whatsapp ui clone and i hope that you enjoyed this video i, I actually hope and uh, if you did then like the video subscribe to the channel if you didn't dislike the video unsubscribe from the channel but don't do that okay so I'll, I'll come back with more videos the source code is available on github and uh, peace enjoy keep fluttering and remember more videos are coming bye bye take care and uh, i hope you have a good day ahead